Americans are being crippled by surging energy prices, and the conflict in Russia will only make things worse. Rick Perry joined Hannity last night to discuss the loss of America's energy independence. We've got a hundred years of liquefied natural gas, LNG, underneath the United States. America was on the verge of making Europe clearly independent of Russia. Congressman Mark Green, House Foreign Affairs and Armed Services Committee member, joins us now. Congressman, how bad could this get for all of us already really struggling with inflation? With inflation. It's going to get really bad. I mean, what you made, the point you made there with Rick Perry, you can't win an in energy war if you shut down your own energy sector. And that's what Biden has done. And unfortunately, that's the only thing that uh, Vladimir Putin's going to respond to is shutting down his energy and then crushing the ruble. That will be a deterrent that he's not prepared for. Yeah, the New York Post has a headline that sums it up pretty, pretty simply. To make Putin pay, Biden must ramp up U.S. energy production. Um, if he does that, how quickly could energy prices go down here at home? Well, it's going to be challenging with uh, the, the way we've been importing Russian oil. You know, in 2017, we were bringing in about 12,000 barrels a day. Now it's about 250,000 Russian barrels of oil coming into the United States. So it's wow. going to take time. That, that's not going to be a quick fix. But our energy sector is one of our best aspects of our economy. They're ready to go. We just got to turn them on, turn off the regulations, let the pipelines flow at full capacity. We fix this. We fix this. That's the only way. Americans not a fan of Joe Biden's energy policies, also not a fan of how he's handling Ukraine. Just 36 percent of us approve of how Joe Biden has handled Putin's Ukraine standoff. Mm -hmm. Only 40 percent have faith overall in his foreign overall, policy. Yeah. This, of course, despite the fact that Joe Biden thinks that he is a foreign policy savant. Is it too late for Joe Biden to recover in order to help Democrats mm -hmm. salvage the midterms? No, I really don't think so. I, you know, what people really hoped was the debacle in Afghanistan would be the Bay of Pigs invasion and that he would learn from that like John Kennedy did and be ready for the Cuban Missile Crisis. Here, Biden failed massively in Afghanistan. Well, gosh, wouldn't it have been great if he'd learned from that? No, here he is piecemealing. He's responding exactly the way Putin prepared for him to respond. They dumped their dollars. They, they prepared their banks for the sanctions. He's just playing into Putin's hand on this. Again, got to go after the energy, got to go after the currency. That's how you fix this. That's how we deter Vladimir Putin. Yeah, very, very good point there. Well taken. There's some news here at home that uh, broke yesterday. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds, she's going to be giving the GOP response to uh, the State of the Union address. Uh, why was she chosen and what can we expect out of her speech? Well, it's an excellent contrast between what how Democrats are leading versus how Republicans are leading. You know, we kept the economies open. She did a great job doing that. She didn't hammer people with mandates, uh, but basically used the freedom and free markets response to the to the COVID. And uh, you know, the the nation and most of your Democrat leaders did just the opposite of that. So I think it's a great contrast. She's a strong leader. She's been in politics for a very long time, understands. I think her response is going to be excellent, and I'm looking forward to it. Good stuff. All right. Congressman Green, thank you so much for waking up early, joining us. Thanks. Thanks, Todd and Car Carly. Thank Good to you. be on with you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.